do you want? When we're starting to get into the realm of dangerous heat, heat alerts stretching from portions of western Texas all the way to the west coast. Uh, now, some of these alerts are going into effect as we head into next week, so you have to check your local area, but it's really going to be a hot one. We've got this dome of high pressure in control over the west, and it's going to expand northward, so that's going to bring the heat even farther north. We're talking about 90s from the northern plains all the way down through the southern plains and places that where it's typically hot, like Vegas, Tucson, Phoenix, it's going to be even hotter than you would expect. So we are going to see that possibility for dozens of records being broken across the, the Great Basin, the Four Corners region, up even into the Front Range as well. So for today, the forecast for a place like Tucson is 110. The old record is 109. So we are forecasting record breaking heat there in Tucson and Phoenix. You typically see your average first day above 110 degrees on June 18th, but we are forecasting that for today. So you're a bit above average and the climate prediction center is predicting very likely above average temperatures as we head into the third week of this month from the west coast all the way into the great lakes region stick around we'll tell you who can expect storms today that's coming today morning to you and welcome into weekend recharge i'm felicia combs and i'm molly mccullum in for paul goodlow america's weekend depends on the weather and this weekend you're going to have to pay close attention to where summer storms you guessed it they're popping up again today felicia yeah it's the you don't want to get caught off guard. You no. got a lot of stuff to do. It's your weekend. So we want to get straight to your Saturday snapshot. Here's a look at today's forecast. Now it does look mostly quiet across much of the country, but that is going to be changing for a lot of us as we head through the afternoon. We're going to have those storms bubbling up and some of those could be mm -hmm. strong and especially Arkansas, Mississippi, where we've already had enough rain and the Carolina coast too, a risk of flash flooding and some storms. So Myrtle Beach, watch out if you've got some beach plans. Yeah, and if you're not dealing with the severe storms, it's the heat that we're talking about out across the four corners region dangerous heat. In fact, we could see record heat for places like Tucson today and it's not just there above average temperatures for a lot of us and it's no rain out there either. So that's yeah. the other part of it. Yeah, the drought absolutely terrible out there. Thunderstorms though, you know, we, we've been watching the ramp up to this. The drought has continued to worsen across western portions of the country. The heat just keeps coming and the rain is nowhere to be seen. We had a very dry monsoon season, so it, it really just has not been good, especially around the Four Corners region and this heat does not help at all. Now some of these uh, heat alerts that you see are not actually in effect yet. They'll take effect as we head through next week. So you want to go ahead and prepare for that. Make sure you have some way to stay cool. We've got this dome of high pressure. That is a ridge in the jet stream and that is sinking air. That brings us the heat that we're seeing not only across the desert southwest where you expect it to be hot, but all the way up into the northern plains, southern plains. We're taking that into the Mississippi Valley as well. It's going to be a scorcher guys and not just unseasonal hot, not just above average, but record heat in some places. All of those red dots represent places that we could see records. Quick look at Las Vegas. The forecast for today, 108 and then by Monday above 110 degrees. That would definitely be early on average. You don't see that until the end of this month there in Vegas. Molly, thanks. Give it like a so-so. I mean, maybe risk it, maybe not. It's a hit or miss. I yeah. mean, you know, 30%. Is, yeah. If you wash your car, it's going to rain in Detroit. Exactly. That's exactly no what question. it is. That's definitely. No, <laughs> Charleston, I would definitely no. wait. Not a good wait idea in there. And New York, looking good. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Stick around. We've got one more hour of Weekend Recharge coming up. Guard, that's the worst, right? So we want to get straight to your Saturday snapshot. Here's a look at today's forecast. Now, right now, not a whole lot going on, actually, but that is going to continue to change. But Felicia, look at some of these showers starting to pop in the southeast. That's all that mm -hmm. heat starting to bubble up and be careful along the Carolina coast because you're going to see some storms as well as once again, unfortunately, in Mississippi where there's been lots of flooding. Yeah, as you look back toward the west, a dividing line here for eastern portions of New Mexico. You've got that chance for some severe storms, but as you head farther west, we're talking about dangerous heat. When you put dangerous in front of heat for places like Phoenix, you know it's going to be hot. Now, lots of water, stay hydrated and take lots of breaks with all that sunshine. Yeah, a lot of above average temperatures and moisture combining to bring us thunder match Laguna Beach that's going to continue traveling down 30 and that's going to make its way into PCB tons of lightning we're talking about I'm surprised we weren't seeing lightning in that shot actually uh, but yeah tons of lightning rocking Southport right now and these are going to be the kind of storms that we continue to see bubbling up across portions of North Florida as we move through the day today so let's time it out for you here is Apalachicola seeing some of those storms eventually moving through the Big Bend area of Florida Tallahassee Cross City all getting in on this now Tallahassee I do think that you're going to have a 
a break in the rain and storms as we head through the late afternoon and early evening. So if you're trying to make dinner plans in Tallahassee, I actually think you should be okay. Now, I'm not saying you might not get a little bit of a sprinkle, but it's not going to be the type of storms that we're seeing as we move through the early part of the afternoon. So uh, you plan your dinner plans all, all in Tallahassee. You should be okay, especially if you don't mind a little sprinkle as you're going to dinner. So here's what we're looking at. Columbia, you have that chance for some storms bubbling up as we head into the middle part of the afternoon. Charleston, waves of rain for you as well as Lake City. And look at how everything blossoms as we head into the evening. Completely different story from Myrtle Beach down through Lake City and Charleston and into Columbia. You guys are going to have that rain around for most of your evening, even into the early overnight hours. So do make sure if you're trying to plan out your Saturday night in Columbia that you keep that in uh, in mind. Raleigh, not as much action for you. Maybe a few stray showers here or there, but toward the coast, places like Wilmington and the Outer Banks, a better chance for more of those passing showers and storms. And of course, the weather, it's that time of year, Molly, where it's playing a big role in those outdoor activities. We always got us by looking at the camera shot, looking out over Tallahassee, though. That's going to uh, change as we head through the early afternoon. You're going to have those storms building in as we head through, say, 1, 2 o'clock. Those storms blasting through Tallahassee here down the I-10 corridor, Apalachicola, you're going to get in on some rounds of showers and storms as well. Now take a look at how these intensify as we head into the later afternoon and evening. Places like Cross City and Lake City, you're going to have your fair share of storms as well. Tallahassee, I think the rainiest and stormiest part of your day is going to be through about the uh, mid after early afternoon through very early evening. If you're trying to get out there and have a late dinner, say 8 and 9 o'clock, things should look a little bit better by then. South Carolina, now Columbia, you're going to have some showers and storms building as we head through the mid afternoon waves of rain from Lake City through the coast. Charleston, you guys are going to have some rain around as well as Orangeburg. Here's the thing. Once those showers and storms get started in Columbia, you're going to have waves of rain on and off into the evening. So you're really going to have that second part of your day is going to be pretty soaking even into the overnight hours. Now, Raleigh, New Bern, Greenville, you guys have that chance for some showers, but I really do think the b biggest focus of these storms is going to be along the coast here. Wilmington, you've got that chance for showers and storms over and over again. The outer banks as well. Maybe not the best beach day today because of those passing showers and storms. Raleigh, it's not going to be a rain out for sure, but you do have that chance for those showers around. I'd say just keep an eye to the sky, but it shouldn't really rain out your Saturday. Hey, let's take a look at your Sunday in DC because you are going to have that chance for storms bubbling up for the second part of the day. And as those blast through the Capitol Beltway, some of those could put down some very heavy rain and some gusty winds there moving through Leesburg and Waldorf. And then we get another round as we head into Monday night. So it's a very messy time out there. In fact, it's been messy in Texas too, Molly. We had a weather delay earlier for the Bassmasters. Yeah, we certainly did. Day two of the Bassmasters tournament. You just heard Felicia say it. It got off to a rocky start. Storms across North Texas